In the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, with a collection of Tutankhamun, there is a collar with an inscription of goddess Ren and Wetet, with a human head and a serpent's body. For she suckles the baby child, in spite of him wearing his festive costume. The inscription below the scene represents Nekuri, the god of seeds, and he represents the king to be united together. And to be a god of seeds means to be a source of food for the whole region and the gods and the dead too. Neperi has appeared with his mother Neren Wetet in the middle of the fields in the tomb of Fen Amon number 93 in Sheikh Abdul Korna in Luxor in the 18th dynasty. And that's on the fourth column in the outer hall in the southern left side. Herman Yonker mentions that the title of Kamut F, or the bull of his mother, is clearly shown in Neperi, the god of seeds, for he offers the seeds the fertility and growth. That's why he comes in the image of a child, suckling, as he appears in the tomb of Kha Imhat. From the tomb of Jesser Kara Seneb, the young king is seen suckling from Neren Wetet, and the baby Neperi holds the name of King Amun Hotep III. There is an identical pattern in the name of the child who bears the name of the ruling king and Neperi, the god of seeds. It suggested that the mysterious shape that came in the tombs number 38 and 57 above the thrashing scenes in the shape of a bird or a man is either his meant to be the scarecrow or the god of harvest or both of them in the same time. It's the shape of a pack of grain or straw with mud to make it more firm, and hands are attached to it. God Neperi sometimes was pictured with a pack of spikes in his hand or above his head, and that could be his special figure. <laughs>